Sometimes, like, I would, I'd always forget, so I'd be like, hey, Mike, what, what do you think about this? You know, and you'd just be like, looking off, <laughs> and I totally forget that I'm on the wrong side. So, but, yeah, that's like the only thing, I guess, really. <laughs> so, you guys just dropped a new album. No, uh, it's, it was it's like, kind of old now. Yeah. Kind of? <laughs> well, your newest album. Right, right. Yeah. So, working. how is this one different? Um, I'd say just like, the music is harder, definitely. Um, it's more relatable, like lyrical wise. And, uh, yeah, I'd say you know those are pretty much the two biggest things from our other album. Our first one, "Cross Your Fingers," was like more of like a popular album. Uh, this was just darker, more meaningful. Yeah, that's how I feel. Like this. Are you guys going to evolve into like a darker side, or are you just playing around with it right now? Uh, I think it's what's. I mean. Whatever is like comes out, you know, in the next one is whatever comes out. But it's definitely we've, you know, kind of found a good medium like where we're writing about angry shit that we wanted to get off our chest and shit like that for a long time. So it's definitely gonna, I think, transition a little bit more into that, you know, a little bit more heavy. But we're still gonna keep all of our same throttle suit. Yes. Do you guys all like write your own part and collaborate it, or is it just like? Uh, it's more of like, I don't know, it's like a giant group thing, like, obviously like it starts to like, I mean we have to come up with music, so like mostly like Dave and I will start writing guitar or something like that, but then we'll, like we all start coming together and then throwing our own input and whatnot, so yeah, I mean it's pretty much a whole, like when it comes down to it all. So, how many water bottles have you collected with urine in them driving Oh, that's not <laughs> Too even many a, to count. Not even a question. We don't even know yeah. because they're just scattered all throughout the van. There's like we have a garbage can, but they'll like they'll like step on the brakes and the bottle will like roll down. And they're like, where the fuck did this come from? Like, yeah, is seven guys. Oh, yeah. Did you get Ethan on accident. Yeah. One Ethan, time? Oh. Ethan and London, I believe, have uh, oh. drank this. Yeah. Oh. That must have been great. Oh. Any other like extremely memorable events that happened on tour? Um, even just with, like a local show, like your first show. I don't even know. Nothing like. Shit, I'm sure. I'm sure there was two a, years ago. I don't know. Yeah, fuck to happened be honest, five. I'm trying to think back on times. I don't know. A funny thing that just happened the other day on our way out here is like we stopped in Salt Lake City. Then we like went to go see Salt Lake and like we we're walking on like the sand, doing salt salt flats. Is that what they yeah. call it or whatever? Yeah. And like David like stepped in a spot and he like sunk in like to like his like. <laughs> Shins or whatever, and apparently it just smelled. It smelled like crap, actually. Like his tongs got like all filled with like all this fuck. And you had to drive with them. Yeah, we had to drive with them, like, <laughs> stinking up the van. But I don't know. That's like a little thing, I guess. I don't know. They're, pretty much all of the all like the crazy memories I remember are like bad ones. Like when a semi merged into us. That's a really memorable moment because we almost died. But <laughs> but yeah. yeah. What happened? Got semi. Well, oh, he fucking drove away. Yeah. We just we pulled over the side of the road. and got off. But, I mean, our trailer's still fucking ripped apart on it. But. Yeah. 
Yeah. He just fucking ran away. Right. He didn't get his license or anything. I know, right? It's we were all asleep and we just fucking woke up to the horn and getting hit, so. Yeah. Yeah, our, our merch guy was driving at the time, so he's like, he's like scared as shit. Like, he couldn't drive after we got hit. And yeah. we had like, no, no, like, side mirror or anything like that. So we were trying to merge back on this interstate, so it was like scary. <laughs> Hopefully that won't happen again. <laughs> Crossing fingers. Fingers crossed. Yeah. yeah. Cross so your fingers. How'd you guys get your name? You can go ahead with that, because I mean, I was there when I helped pick it out, but you yeah. fuckers like had this shit before I was even. I don't know, it's, it's really just a lame story. It's like there's no really like crazy meaning to it at all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even really want to tell a story at all. <laughs> it's because it's not cool. But uh, pretty much like. Why don't you just make one up? I know, that's just what I was have thinking. that be the story. Yeah, I don't know, maybe one of these days we will. I don't know. But for now, like we were playing this like, just like when we were a local band, like it was only three members of what there is now. And like, we were just like, we actually didn't really like metal music that, that much at the time, so we were thinking of like names that would like make fun of metal music. Like our ex bassist was like, yeah, what about for all those sleeping? That's metal. And it's like, and, and the acronym's fast. It's like, uh, uh, uh. We're like, oh, okay. So yeah. you guys knew that it was fast. Yeah, yeah, we did, yeah. <laughs> And um, and then like later on when we were like starting like as years went on we started like metal music we started playing it more and then we had to come up with a new name you know and then he's like oh what about for all those sleeping you know they get we all remember and we're like yeah that's actually a really cool name yeah let's, let's check that name and so we took like this own joke that we made up yeah <laughs> that's kind of a cool thing though yeah it's, it's kind of cool let's go back so. Do you guys have any matching tattoos? Any band tattoos? No. No matching no. tattoos. No. Mike's, got, Mike's got some interesting ones though. Yeah, yeah I, got, I have Kesha, Snowman with a black dick on it. Yeah, balls with motionless and white tattooed that <laughs> on the mic. Yep. It's a snowman with a black penis if the camera can't catch it. That's awesome. <laughs> It says fucking snow bitch. And snow is not even spelled right. No, no W. No W. And I was definitely sober. Everyone asked me how drunk I was when I got That's it. right, you were sober. Stone sober. But Do you for have Kesha, any... you were. No. <laughs> yeah, what made you come up with that one? South by Southwest. <laughs> Being down in Austin, Texas, when nothing is open but bars and shit, and we just got hammered, and somebody put a fake, you know, the K Money tattoo on me. It was like the fake ones or whatever. Yeah. And then I, she was like, "Did you get that tattoo? And I'll pay for it." And I was like, "Okay, let's go." Because I was just fucking hammered. <laughs> Thanks, Erica. Stop by Southwest. Do you have any tattoos of that sort? No, I only have one. Well, everybody cares for their body except for me. Yeah, it's free. Yeah. <laughs> if it's free, My friend yeah. has a rapper <laughs> band right here and it says free candy. Yeah, and he is in love with it and I think it's not fair to him. Because <laughs> it doesn't, it's not even, it looks like it was drawn on by like a little kid too. Yeah. It's like, and he's in love with it, so. Yeah. More power to him. So, you guys have anything to add? Yeah. Uh, just that we're on the Rise Up Tour right now. We just gotta drive. And you guys should all come out and check us out. It's gonna be a fun tour. And yeah, get ready for the new album. We're writing it. Bye. Okay. <laughs>